I'm Jeremy Green. I've been an industry analyst for 20 years, focusing on uh, mobile telecommunications and latterly on the Internet of Things. I think that connected vehicles are going to eventually make our cities very different. Fully autonomous vehicles are probably going to be delivered as, as part of cars as a service rather than as individually owned vehicles. City centres are going to have little pods shuttling about that you step into and they go to where you need to be. Then it's going to go away and I'm not going to think about it anymore. It's not going to be my little pod that I'm going to have to then spend almost as long looking for somewhere to park as I did making the journey. The security challenges for autonomous vehicles and connected cars are quite different from the challenges for smart cities. As far as smart cities are concerned, eventually the connected infrastructure is properly protected. That's to say we're not really worrying about malicious hacks on urban infrastructure because these are essentially a few big systems. They're going to be possible to protect them properly. As far as connected cars are concerned though, it's necessary for the car to be accessible for lots and lots of different entities, the repairer, maybe the manufacturer. So the challenges for a car are you can't make it completely hack-proof. How do you uh, make it as hack-proof as possible and reduce the consequences of a hack on a car? I think under the right circumstances, people can be made comfortable about sharing their data, particularly if they can be given some confidence that the, that, that data is anonymised or pseudonymised, so it isn't their personal data, it's general data about how fast people drive on that road. There will be no autonomous vehicles without machine learning. An autonomous vehicle is essentially a robot that lets people into it. When the artificial intelligence gets good enough, we'll have fully autonomous level five self-driving vehicles. Ultimately, I think cars are heading for a commodity hardware platform. As they become less personal items, they'll become better commodity hardware platforms. Big thing of the next couple of years are going to be the add-on devices. I think connectivity and connected car services are actually moving faster than the cars. So it ought to be the case that you can have add-on devices that will give people some of the benefits of connected cars without them having to change their car.